Alright, well, uh, welcome you to um, another episode of the XRL, the Extreme Rugby League. And right now we're just doing a quick uh, review of round three, aka week three. And as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, uh, Gulfport, the Dolphins. <laughs> are in first place three and oh and kicking much butt <laughs> not bad for the team that had the number three overall draft pick and uh um, also as you can see the killer bees are struggling which uh, a lot of people felt like the killer bees was, was probably gonna finish in last place anyway but no one thought that the Dolphins would be undefeated at the halfway point of the season. And is racking up uh, points, playing some great defense. They're looking like the team to beat. And I'm going I'm to go on and say it. I think they're already in the championship game. But, hey, we still got another half to go. But right now we are into what we're calling the all-star break. And as you can see, the stats inside at my it's kicking butt. Um, I'm pretty much gonna go by the, the, the different stats and statistics to determine who's on the all star team. You have Big Ant and True Blue, which will be best against best. Um, the Blazers and Killer Bees are. Uh, gonna be a uh, big ant and the dolphins and the jets are gonna be true blue and then we're gonna take players from each team put them as quote-unquote the B squad and they're gonna play against the practice squad and then we're gonna take two players from each team and then we're gonna uh, put them in the all-star challenge, which will be a competition of uh, different uh, rugby skills. Where you can see just how bad I can play. <laughs> I still ain't got to pass it down, man. But uh, there you go, that's the review for uh, this round. And we'll see you in the all-star selection video for the, uh, the XRL. Till then, you have a good one. Thanks for watching.